not YouTube. This is my first video. This is a subframe for a 2004 Chevy Impala. As you can see, that's the piece already I got from the junkyard. This is the damage that I have. There's really no video out there about this, but I'm going to show y'all how it is, basically. On the bottom, there's going to be two bolts over here. One right here. One right here is for the engine mount. Those, you're going to have to disconnect those. Obviously, it's going to be the main bolts. It's going to be four, one on each corner, one right there, Ugh. one right there, and vice versa on the other side. But to get this undone, you're going to have to get those two engine mount bolts out. You're going to have to disconnect the what is it called? The, the arm to the tire, which is going to be that bolt right there. And this bolt right here. That's on the passenger side. On the driver's side. The energy mounts are going to be right there, not under the subframe, but on the side of the subframe. Yeah, those two bolts right there. This one right here. This one right here, and this one over here. And you're going to have to take this bracket off also. And that bolt over there. Sorry if you can't see it right, but... You're going to have to disconnect that bolt. And the one up here. And like I said, the main one to the subframe, one right there, and the other one in the back, back there. Those are all the bolts you're going to need on the hook. You're going to have two more right here on this bracket. You see this bracket right there? You're gonna have two more bolts to disconnect. This one right here, and the one on the other side. So get your, so you can untie it from the stuff frame. Right here, one right there, and then one on the other side of this bracket. And then obviously this main subframe bolt, and the other one on that side. But that's basically all the bolts you're gonna need. To take off before changing the sun frame thank you if you like my video let me know but i will be putting on another one because i've got to find a way to hoist this engine up before i do that or else the engine will fall down with it but i will be putting a video on that about how i do this because one of my boats from the bracket to the engine is undone so this is what i gotta work with but i'll figure it out as you can see my motor is leaning a little bit you see my bracket is leaning this one
This one was just lined up with it. This one's not lined up with it neither. A little bit off to the left because this side is dropped down because it tore from the bottom.